Hello YouTube, this video is about um, my Sudoku solver I've created last week and it will solve Sudokus using backtracking um, I will explain these things uh, shortly so everyone, um, I assume a lot of you know what a um, what a Sudoku is it's a popular puzzle usually uh, in a gr with a grid of 9x9 nine nine cells and these are 4x4 four four cells and it can be done with any uh, any square that has a square number of cells in it. So four is is a is an integer square. Nine is an integer square. Sixteen is an integer square. So any square number of cells in the rows and in the columns will be uh, fit for a Sudoku. This one is four by four, since a smaller um, a smaller Sudoku will be easier to solve. This one is actually solved in fifty steps using backtracking. So in a Sudoku, it ha uh, any the number of symbols uh, that can fit into the into a row, uh, and then columns and blocks, is four in this case, or equal to the number of uh, cells in a row and in a column. Uh, since the since the uh, the goal of the of a Sudoku puzzle uh, when when solving it is to fit every symbol only once in every row only once in every column and only once in every block and the blocks are uh, one two three four cells uh, in size there are four blocks in this particular puzzle one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four cells in each block so this is not a block and this is not a block depending on the variation of sudoku you have so in a three by three uh, a nine by nine sudoku there's nine also nine blocks the number of blocks is always equal to the number of cells in each row and each column in, in the classic mode so and the number and the symbols i can fit in this sudoku are the numbers one two three and four it will it will try to fit each uh, each symbol in each uh, each cell so uh, now on to the backtracking method it will try to fit a one in this in this cell, actually in this cell, um, and it will fail since there's already a number here, and since that number um, uh, is is already there in the original puzzle, it can't uh, change this number, so it will move to this this cell over here and change uh, that number's value, uh, that that cell's value to the number one, and uh, that will work. So um, when it finds a solution for a cell, when that number actually fits, it will move to the next cell and try to fit a number in this cell, and then to the next cell and to the next cell. And when it uh, when it finds a number that won't fit, so uh, so uh, when it finds that it, when it tries to fit a number three in this cell, it won't fit since there's already a three in this column. It will uh, return to past decisions like the one it made here or here and uh, just increase the number that's already here by one and then continue to the uh, decision that went wrong and if that number that that it will try to fit in here will actually fit this time it will just continue uh, with the next cells and change this number and this number and this number until it uh, eventually finds another number that won't fit and then it will backtrack again uh, its history of decisions uh, up until a point where it can actually increase a number without it not fitting so when it f actually fits let's see this um, algorithm in action I can increase it uh, I can just move by this in s in single single steps the backtrack history will be show shown on here in this uh, in this text uh, in this text box so we can see what decisions it had it, ha it has made so the first step is to uh, try and fit a number one into this cell and it will work since there's no other one in this row, no other one in this column, no other one in this section uh, or block. So uh, it will add this decision to its backtrack history and move on to this uh, square. So yeah, another, another step will show this uh, occurring. We can see that it tried to put a uh, put a number one in the first cell in the 
Sudoku since that is row zero, column zero, and it will try to fit a one in that uh, section. So there, this is cell uh, in in place uh, row zero, column zero, and it had tried to fit a one in there, but it can't since there's already a number number here, and uh, then it will move on by default since it can't change this value at all. It, it's no use in trying to attempt that. Um, the next decision it has made was this one in the in the row zero in column one. You can see this here zero one, and it has put a one in there. So it it remembers w on, on which cell it has placed which number. Now this one here will fail on a, on all three conditions. There's already a one in this row, there's al already a one in this column, and there's already a one in this block. So this fails miserably. The next step is to ch try and fit a two in there, and this will succeed for the same reason. Then it will add this decision to the backtrack and it has done so in step three, in case you were wondering wondering what this number is. And the number over here will be uh, placed at the end of the backtrack. So row to zero, column two, and uh, number two is added. Um, I will continue to do this. Oh, you saw a five over there. That's that's when it um, encounters a decision that won't work. So it, it tried to fit a one in here, and that couldn't be done since there's already already one here. It couldn't fit a 2 in there, since the 2 over here uh, in cell, cell 0, 2 uh, already contained a 2. Uh, it can't fit a 3 in here, since there's a 3 in this column, and it can't fit a 4 in there, since there's already a 4 in here, in this row. Then it attempts to place a 5, which is an illegal action, since uh, only the numbers 1, 2, 3 and 4 are allowed and thus it has to backtrack to its past decision and we can we saw it move back to this decision by uh, it removing this decision this was apparently a bad decision since it, this causes no number to be fit in here uh, it retracts that decision it changes the number it placed there so that it used to be 3 and it increases that number by 1 so this now this 3 will succeed by the way so it now will uh, place again and place this this decision oh, at the end again, but instead of two, it attempts to place a three at that position, and hopefully that will succeed. So this was already step eight of fifty. The next step is to attempt another one in this uh, square in this cell. It won't work. Uh, a two is fit. So now we can move on to the next row. And this decision is added to the backtrack. So uh, 0, 3, 2, 0, 0 with the row, uh, third column when starting to count with uh, column 0, so uh, and the number 2. The next, uh, th this will fail. This will fa this will this will succeed. So it will add this decision to the end, as we can see here. Next step, next step, next step. Yeah. This is uh, also something I wanted to demonstrate. This one over here indicates that there's uh, there's only a single decision left at the uh, left end of the backtrack. So that's this decision. When uh, more decisions are added to the backtrack, this number increases, and we will only see the last five decisions, since that's the most interesting part of the backtrack, since this changes the most. Uh, so I'll, in I'll increase the step count by 10, and another 10, and another 10. And in this pl in this part uh, of the uh, so solution, uh, we see that it has fit all the numbers into this Sudoku. It's now at uh, the last cell to be filled, and this one will fail. There remains to be a 2. Uh, in this block, row, and column, so that it will increase this number by one, and then step to this cell, which can't be altered. So then it it's done, and we can see this happening here. So it has added uh, to row three, column two, uh, the number two, which is this one, and this has a total of eight decisions on the left side of the backtrack, including uh, excluding these five. So in total, there's thirteen 
decisions. Uh, so we can now see it's done. The it, number of iterations is 50, the, the number of tries, trials, and the max search, search depth is uh, 9. So uh, that's the number of decisions it has to retract, um, I suppose. It can solve any number of uh, an, any uh, size of Sudoku, so I can open another uh, classic Sudoku of 9 times 9 uh, cells, and it can also solve this one. If I step 10,000 steps, it's uh, it, it's one, uh, it's filled for one quarter. You can see this number, and th this one tries to uh, place a 10 in here. That won't work since uh, 10 is not a legal number. Uh, since 9 is the maximum. So it will retract this number and go back to this decision and increase that one by 1. This 3 will not succeed since this one is already a 3 and that one is already a 3. The block contains a 3 too, so um, this this will fail miserably. Next step, next step, next step. Uh, and 5 is legal number in this one, so it will move on. Uh, let's see him do another 20,000 steps. It's almost done. Uh, I know the number of steps this one uh, generates. So single, sing, sing, 10 steps, 10 steps, 10. Yeah, it's done. Let's see. Yeah, it's done. So you can see it's uh, it's got 42,000 steps in this one, and a max search, search depth of 40. Now I won't attempt to solve the 16 by 16. Uh, well, I uh, I made a mistake. I opened a text uh, document of uh, about uh, three three point four uh, three hundred forty MBs. So that that's a text file of three hundred and forty MBs. Uh, well, I suppose that was the video. It can solve any number of uh, sudo any an, any size of Sudoku, as I've, t I've told you already. You can download the source at uh, the site included in the description bar. Uh, that's uh, that's on my website. And well, hopefully you will comment and rate this video since uh, I'm interested in uh, what you guys think about this. Um, have fun in exploring the in exploring the code. And uh, I will see you in the next video. Bye.